We're here in Mobile, Alabama with my friend Dave Bra Brazel. He's going to talk to you about one of the last remnants of the uh, western fortifications of the defense of Mobile during the 1865 Mobile campaign. Uh, this, this is one of the, uh, one of the earthworks. This is, uh, as Paul said, one of the last, uh, up until about 20 years ago, or so maybe a little bit longer, this was a complete fortification with the earthworks 10, 15 feet high. And Paul will show you in a minute what the moat looks like on the other side. But this was all bulldozed down about 20 years ago to make room for a park. It's located on uh, Catherine Street, a couple blocks north of uh, Lion, uh, yeah, Lions Park. So um, this, and it's, when it was intact, this was very, very impressive. So the, as you can get an idea, on the other side of the fence here, there's some private property, but you can see how high this, these uh, earthworks were. Again, this was uh, defending the western approaches to the city of Mobile uh, during the war between the states. As you can see, it was quite uh, an impressive earthen fortifications. When the Union troops entered Mobile, they all commented on the vastness and uh, strength of the fortifications that the Confederates that defended Mobile had built over the course of the of the war. They had four years to work on it, and they did a really good job on their western defenses. But again, this is the, the one of the last remnants of the fortifications of Mobile.